Okay, I'm making this video. Uh, the headline reads, Syrian Christians turning to Russia for protection. You know, just the headline when I read it really popped out at me. Because let's face it, folks, America not that long ago was supposed to be the ones that helped the world when they had problems. And everybody knew it. And as soon as the 911 event happened, everything changed. And even France was like hailing America for how good they were and all the good that they had done and how horrible it was that this happened to us. And uh, after that, of course, we went downhill from there. But, uh, uh, you know, this is really incredible that 50,000 Syrian Christians want to apply for Russian citizenship. In a letter to the Russian foreign ministry, they said that they were not planning to flee Syria, but if threatened with physical elimination, they would pin their hopes on Russia as the guarantee uh, of their survival. Analysts think that despite the difficulties their request may involve, it won't go unheeded. Now, I read the whole article and pretty much... Um, About 50,000 Syrians put their signatures under the address. Medics, engineers, lawyers, businessmen residing in the Calamon area near Damascus. The fact that so many people signed the letter throws weight behind it. But on the other hand, it makes things more complicated for Russia, said Sergi. I can't say this guy's name, but a senior fellow at the Institute for Middle East Studies in Moscow. I'll leave a link to this below, folks. Um, now that it puts us in an awkward situation, but it sort of diverts the Russian foreign ministry's efforts as the ministry is obliged to react to that address. We cannot say no to those people, but if we say yes, and then something happens, then we will have to evacuate huge numbers of Russian citizens. And it doesn't matter whether those are people solely with Russian citizenship or they have two passports, Russian and Syrian. If the president orders evacuation, they will have to be evacuated, which is a very complicated rescue operation. So Syria is not the only country where Christians do not feel safe. According to the Pew Forum on Religion and Public Life Research Organization, Christians are persecuted and harassed in 130 countries. Today, Christians are the most persecuted religious community. Every hour one Christian is killed in the world, they are killed because of their faith. So, this is a pretty heavy article, folks. And I'm going to leave you, uh, again, with the link below, and you can read the rest of this for yourself. But I just found it very interesting to find that Russia, of all countries is making the United States look really bad, okay? And uh, they're even helping the persecuted Christians, and that's a very good thing. I mean, I, I really got to tip my hat to them, okay? Because uh, what are these people going to do? Where are they going to go, you know? And uh, one thing is certain, uh, America's not helping them, that's for sure. If anything, America's helping the Al-Qaeda's and the terrorists, that's what I hear. Okay, that's what I've been reading lately. So, uh, anyhow. So, okay, and I, I also have some thoughts on, you know, with this cold condition, this cold spell and all coming. I think that, uh, I think that the Lord is cursing us in America. I think the Lord has cursed America, and I see no reason why the Lord would bless America. America is so evil and there's so much sin in this place, and the people are so sinful, they're constantly making sure that uh, this Christmas, you couldn't even say the word Christmas. Uh, you weren't allowed to send Christmas cards with the word Christmas because of the word Christ in Christmas, or or uh, uh, even Bible verses uh, or, or anything uh, to, uh, uh, what was the place again? To the uh, the vets, yes, to the vets, where they are in the hospital. Uh, it was against the law. And, uh, I mean, that's crazy stuff. This this country has become so evil. When this country turned its back on God 
and started pulling down Ten Commandments and things like that, uh, uh, duplicates, you know, uh, statues of the Ten Commandments and things like that uh, about God. Um, I mean, how much can God himself take, right? Now, you know, the problem, folks, is this. Um, we suffer. We're going to suffer with the evil people. We're going to suffer with them because we live in America, for those of us that live here, okay? And I know there's a lot of Christians still here, and I, I'm asking you, because I know this, to pray for each other and to pray to God, okay, to help us, because we're stuck here. We're stuck in this place, in this horribly evil place, this horribly evil country. We're stuck here. And uh, so I'm asking you all, pray for each other. Do not forget to pray for each other sometime throughout the day, you know, because, um, so that the Lord can hear us. If the Lord does not hear us, how, why then would he help us? If, if no prayers are being said for us, then why would we be treated special? But I am of the belief that there are enough Christians here that are praying for each other, that the Lord hears our prayers, and he does answer us, and maybe we do suffer. But I believe that there's going to be a lot more people that are dying that are not Christian than people that are. That's what I believe. I believe that. Unless, I mean, there are exceptions. You know, maybe there's a Christian. It's time for that person to go home. Okay. But all in all, I would have to say that I really do believe that um, the Lord blesses his people. As long as we continue to pray and do the Lord's will every day, and pray for each other, I believe the Lord will continue to bless us, even during the time of his cursing America. And I believe that more people that do not believe in God will fall dead from the cold, and from flus, and from strange explosions, and this and that happening, and all kinds of things happening. I mean, three plants blew up this week in uh, America, you know, three plants, I'm talking, I mean, one, one was in Mississippi, a, a chemical plant, um, one was in uh, Oklahoma, and one was in uh, Nebraska. And the one in Nebraska, uh, there was another story I read today, I didn't put it up online, with a follow-up, saying they didn't know what caused it, but then in the story it said that there were witnesses that heard, uh, saw, uh, or heard a loud boom uh, before... Uh, a fire had started, okay, some minutes before a fire had started, I guess, or sometime before it, anyhow, and uh, they're talking about the fireball in the sky that people saw in, the, in that article I put up. So, um, you know, again, I believe that the people that are dying are not Christians, and that's what I believe. Now, I said unless there's, an, and there's always going to be an exception unless the Lord wants that person home. But um, I believe they would have a more peaceful death than that, okay. Um, but anyhow, so, okay, anyhow, so that's what's on my mind. And I just thought I'd put this video up. Leave your comments below. And please remember to pray for each other, to think about each other. You know, take any differences you have as long as you believe in, in, in Jesus and in Yeshua, our Lord, Take any differences you may have in doctrine and put them aside. Love each other and care for each other. That's what this is all about, folks. Okay, God bless you all in all that you do.